manipulate a 15 year old. No, I'm answering the question. She's a she, child. She bumped into me when so I. So she did something wrong. She needs to apologize. If she did this something ignorant wrong, woman, this ignorant woman if bumped into a 15 year old. Right? Correct. And you're on camera. Okay. You're so feeling police. threatened. Okay, well, go in. No, mom. I got, I got this. You're blocking me from getting no, my car. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. You're ignorant. Go ahead, call the police. No, we will. But you're not going to sit there and violate a 15-year-old. She's ignorant. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. I want you to call the police. She's very ignorant. Yeah, I said it. You say something, I'll beat your white ass Oh, you will do something. Please put your hands Do something. Please. Who the f do you think you guys I, are? Who do you, you think who you are? Your wife think you are. You, you called her name. She did nothing to yeah, you. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Okay, I right, no, you didn't. You're very you racist and ignorant. You're racist because you're, you're, racist you're, because you're, you're calling her name. No, you bumped it. She bumped it too. Why would you bump it? You cannot just walk around calling white people racist. This is not that type of world. I care why about you, you, you sorry? and I'm sorry if you've why had did you had an incident sorry? with me, if you someone made you her, feel like you that. Sorry? No one is racist. If you didn't, do I'm sorry if you, you had something Tell like that happen. Ignorant. Very, Ma, watch. disturbing and honestly i really wasn't even going to react to this or make a video on this but after seeing everything that i've saw online today and seeing the type of people that has been hashtagging free karen i need to say how i feel i need to get it off my chest and speak my truth and honestly speak the truth um i'm gonna just go ahead and start out by saying this if you're new to my channel welcome um on this channel i keeps it a hundred and i give my honest opinion and i don't give a fuck what anybody thinks or feels um so i'm warning you now this is going to be a little bit of a rant and honestly this is going to be my opinion slash a little bit of fact um and it may offend some people so I'm watching this video in complete disgust because I'm going to just go ahead and start off by saying this. Everybody in this video was wrong. Um, aside from the 15-year-old girl, only because she's 15 and underage and she's just doing what she sees the adults in front of her doing, I'm going to give her a pass. But the adults on both parties were wrong. The mother was wrong for how she handled the situation. The white woman was wrong, Karen. Um, and I don't know if that's her real name, but... Obviously, the hashtags are saying free Karen, so I'm going to just go with Karen. And if her name really is Karen, this makes this situation even worse. But let's continue. Um, everyone was wrong. Karen was wrong. The mother was wrong. The way the mother handled it was wrong. The way Karen handled it was wrong. Um, it was wrong. Everything was wrong, and we're going to dissect that. These are the two things that disturb me the most, the very most, about this video. One, what Karen said halfway through the video, and I'll get to that. And two, the reaction that black, not white, black people are giving. More specifically, black men. Yes, I said it. More specifically, black men. And you know, Sonia, if she's going to come through with her opinions, especially if she's going to consider it a little bit of facts, she's going to come through with the receipts. So they will be given in this video. So don't worry, honey, baby. But I'm disgusted with that. So first, let's get into the first thing that I'm disgusted with the most. What Karen said in the video. She had the nerve to say, you can't go around 
calling white people racist. White people aren't racist. Arr! Run that back, Turbo. Run that back, Turbo. Um, sis, just because you want to proclaim that you yourself is not racist, that does not mean that white people or a collective, or I'll even say just to make you feel better, a group of white people are not racist. Just because you feel that you're personally being attacked because you're white, just because you feel that way, didn't say it was a fact, just because you feel that way does not mean that every white person that gets chastised or gets um, basically put on the spot for needing to take accountability for their actions towards black people doesn't mean they don't deserve it. And honestly, we don't even know if you deserved it or not because we didn't see the entire situation. We just seen the aftermath of whatever happened. But um, yeah, that bothered me because it's just because you feel you're not racist, that doesn't mean that white people in general or there isn't a collective or even a group of white people that are racist. So you were kind of incorrect. No, you were incorrect for saying that. And honestly, it was kind of annoying that she said that because for you to turn around and say, you can't go around calling white people racist as if white people are the victims in racism. Like, knock it off. There's a lot of truth to the racism that is behind, you know, the pathology of white people and European standards. So yes, not all white people are racist, and that's true. But if Black people feel that white people are being racist, especially if they're talking about a specific white person, they do have the right to go around saying that that white person is racist. If there's a group of white people that are treating them differently and basically uh, taking away opportunities and benefits from them because of the simple fact that they're black, then they can say that those white people are racist because there are white people that are racist. So if we feel that we need to say that, especially if the shoe fits, we will say that. So you're wrong and incorrect on that, Karen. And second of all, um, there are racist white people. So you're completely wrong on that one. Second thing, we're going to get into that right now. Um, I am really not surprised, but at the same time, I'm just like, here we go again. Another reason why I say that we are brainwashed and not everyone and not in the literal sense of brainwash, but I will say in a lot of ways, a lot of black people have adopted the European ideology as the right ideology. And when it comes to white women and their white tears or whenever they're in distress, a lot of black people think that is more important and they give more empathy and sympathy to those white women who are in distress than they do their own black women. I did a video, if you haven't seen it, go see it about the whole Amber Geiger thing when she killed Botham Jean and his brother gave her a hug. Talk about white privilege because she was crying in court and she was so sad. Everyone somehow found sympathy and empathy for the girl. The father even, you know, said we should forgive her. The brother gave her a hug. The, ju the black judge was crying. You know, when it comes to white women, whether they're on the wrong or not, we go out our way for them. And it would be nothing wrong with that if we did that with black women as well. But this community doesn't even do that for their own women, but they go out their way for other women. Now, like I said, the mother, the black woman, the mother, the black mother was wrong too, because the way she re approached the situation was very extreme. And even though I'm not saying that the lady pulling the gun out was her fault, because I do feel like the lady didn't have to react the way she did. However, the way the mother was acting and the way she was reacting to the situation did warrant some type of aggression. Like I said, they're both wrong. I feel like the mother reacted. I understand, like, I we didn't see it. If, the, if Karen really did bump into her daughter purposely and said nothing or didn't even care to apologize, then, you know, that's disrespectful. And I can see the mother being upset. But I feel like if she was really that upset about it, she could have made... I'm not... It's like this. It's like, I'm not saying that you need to calmly go to her and be like, 
oh, you hit my daughter. I need you to apologize. But it was a lot. Like, the way she came at her was really aggressive, and it came off very um, hostile. So I will say there was a better way she could approach it. Or if she really felt like she really wanted to get her good, you know, she should have just straight up called the cops. She should have said something to her. And, you know, once she didn't want to apologize and things got awry, she should have just called the cops. Um, but it, it, she did come off a little bit harassing. I'm not going to lie. She did. Even though I don't agree with Karen pulling the gun out. But I will say the mother did handle it not in the best way, especially with allowing her daughter. Like, I understand you wanted your daughter to record, but it's just like the way she kind of kicked it off. It just came off like as if like you didn't really care what happened. You know, it's like it was like almost like you were just like ready to fight her in front of your daughter. And even though some people will say, yeah, I, I don't care. I, you know, if somebody hurts my child, I'll beat somebody's ass in front of my child. I don't care. Like you hurt my child, some hurt you. I understand that, but maybe certain things shouldn't happen in front of our children. And even though she was recording it for proof, it just kind of came off like the mom was just being a little too aggressive and reckless in the moment and allowing her daughter to be in a dangerous situation. That's just my opinion. And I, I know for me personally, I would have handled it differently. I would have gotten results. Believe me, I would have gotten results but I would have handled it differently. Now, I heard that Karen was pregnant. I seen a few comments that she was pregnant. She kind of did look like she was pregnant because she was holding her belly. So she's pregnant. Um, you know, she couldn't physically fight. She couldn't physically defend herself. So I will give Karen that too. I will give Karen that too. I'm not gonna lie. I will give Karen that too. She was pregnant. She couldn't physically defend herself. I get it. But I'm gonna just, let me just say this and I'm gonna be done. One, they were in the car. Now I know Karen was saying, you're blocking me from getting in my car. Um, she wasn't literally blocking her from getting in her car. And I know some of you guys are going to want to use that as an excuse because some of you guys just want to use anything as an excuse to be able to say that you beat someone's ass. I mean, some of you guys literally have so much aggression and anger inside of you that you will literally try to fight somebody just because they accidentally dropped your favorite pin. Like some of you guys have this built up aggression that you'll use anything as an excuse to pull out a gun or fight someone or kill someone. But anyways, um, she they weren't blocking her from getting in her car. They were standing by her door and they were like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, they were being a little bit harassatory. That's not a word, but I made it up. But um, they weren't like physically touching her. They weren't physically harming her. And she was able to get in her car and her husband was there. So even though I'm not saying that he should have beat up these women and, or what this woman and her daughter, because the woman, the girl was a girl, not a woman. Um, I'm not saying that he should have did that, but I'm just being honest. Her husband was there. So if anything would have went down, like she at least had some protection with her. So it's not like she was by herself and danger where she was about to get killed or she was being physically harmed. Her husband was there. She had a vehicle with her that she could have drove away in, as she did. She got in the car. She was able to get in the car and she did. And then she was able to drive off. Now, I understand the woman got behind the car to try to get the license plate or she stood behind the car. to I don't know. I'm assuming she did that to get the license plate because she said that's what she wanted to get. And I will say the way she even did that was reckless. You know, she just stood like I get you want the, the license plate. But I just feel like you should have got the license plate before you started arguing her or while you were arguing with her so that that situation didn't escalate the way it did. But whatever she was trying to get the license plate. Now, I feel like what Karen's uh, husband should have did was pull up, back up a teeny bit, turn the wheel, and drive off. But instead, Karen thought she was bold and said, I got my license to carry license anyway. Let me get out the car and show them something. No flex. Zone. And a lot of people in the black community, more specifically black men, um really don't truly care about being pro-black and their black women in their community because they put other women that are not black above us. Another another example, because I've done countless videos on this situation, like I just said, the Amber Geiger situation, go watch that. Um, and this is just another video of the same thing. You see right here, black men. This is a black man, free Karen. Another black man, free Karen. Another black man, free Karen. Till it's backwards. They provoked her and she up the blicky simple. I'm not doing no arguing. Okay. But the sad and funny thing is 
when the shoe is on the other foot and black men are being killed or black men are being arrested for having a weapon or whatever, whatever, and vice versa for black women, you don't see white women or white men out here saying free Deshaun, free Keisha, free Pookie. You don't see that shit. But somehow I wake up on my Facebook and on my timeline, I see a whole bunch of free care and free care. And I'm like, what the fuck going on? What the fuck going on? And it's nothing but black people saying it. I even actually go on the free care and hashtag on Facebook just to see if maybe it's just, you know, I follow mainly black people. So maybe it's just my timeline of black people, but it's probably mainly white people, you know, sharing this as well. I go on my timeline, the hashtag free hash, care and hashtag, and it's mainly black people sharing the hashtag as well. Now, I'm not going to keep going back to refresh and check because I don't care that much. But I'm saying when I did check and I scrolled for a minute, it was mainly black people. And on top of that, mainly black men. Then you see here, you even got this post right here from a black man. Okay, hear me out. At first, I was screaming hashtag free Karen because then black bitches was doing too much, jumping behind her car and shit. But to be honest, Karen bouncing out with the pistol was not really a smooth move. Now, let me stop right there. This is what the fuck I'm talking about right here. So first of all, you're a black man. If you're going to go out your way to speak on the situation and especially try to, what's the word I'm looking for? Root for the white woman over the black woman? At least have enough respect and decency not to disrespect the black woman and call her a black bitch. But you're not even calling the other race woman, more specifically the white woman, a white bitch when she's the one who pulled out the gun. And whether you agree with what she did or not, why is the black women being called black bitches, but Karen is being called by her name? Now you could say, well, we know her name. That's fine. You could have just said black women. Why do we have to, why do they have to, why does it have to always be some disrespect and misogynoir behind speaking on black women? Second of all, the second woman or girl that you're calling a black bitch is a 15 year old underage girl. You're going out your way to call black girls and women out their names when half of these women you disrespect aren't even legal enough to drink. The disrespect, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm tired of it. You don't protect black women. And most of y'all claim y'all protect the black, at least protect the black women y'all know. And half of y'all don't even do that. I mean, y'all really looking like Uncle Ruckus out here. I mean, y'all really are. And I'm not even gonna say we this time. I'm gonna just say y'all. Cause you ain't finna catch me out here going out my way to say free bitches that would never say free me. Especially if they're not even in the same race as me. And listen, I have no problem with wanting to see other race people win, um, you know, seeing other race people and even promoting other race people if I know they got my back and they're my ally. But if I know for a fact that they ain't fucking with me and they don't fuck with me or even my kind, I'm not going out my way. And then what makes it crazy to me is we're in the middle, literally in the middle of this fake mm, and I mm, Black Lives Matter movement. And in the midst of having black women out here losing their lives and putting their lives on the line to save, uh, try to save whatever little bit of unity black people have left, you got black men out here going out their way saying free Karen. And I'm not saying black women aren't doing it either because there's a few black women I see doing it too. So I'm not going to say it ain't black women. It is black women too. It's all, it's the community as a whole need to stop being Uncle Ruckus out in this motherfucker. But um, I'm going to keep it 100, mainly, it's mainly black men that I see doing this. So I'm not surprised. I just wanted to speak about it and uh, let you know that y'all look foolish. And this is why Black Lives Matter or whatever we are this week will never be successful. Because we don't want to work together and we believe more in inclusion than we do fighting for one another. Subscribe if you want to. Hopefully you made it through the whole video. If you did, comment down below and let me know. Um, like this video if you like it. Comment down below and I'll see you soon.